So China, Russia, Iran are essentially an axis in the Middle East, obviously with Syria. Now, China is struggling financially, economically. It's contracting, shrinking economy, lower manufacturing production, higher rising youth unemployment with ghost cities is in trouble. So China is looking to expand economically and even militarily globally in order to compensate for its domestic fall in production. Russia is in a quagmire of a war in Ukraine, which is running to the style of the 1914-18 First World War, just absolutely going nowhere. But it gets its drones, its pilotless planes, or pilot pilotless attack planes from Iran. So Russia won't attack the Houthis in the Red Sea, and neither will China attack the Houthis in the Red Sea, even though both of them use the Red Sea for purposes, whether militarily or economically. Why? Because the Houthis are an Iran-aligned or Iran-backed terror group. So they're not going to attack the Houthis, which essentially or effectively would, would be attacking Iran. That is why Russia and China don't attack the Houthis or don't attack any of the terror groups within the Middle East. Russia, being in Ukraine now, is saber-rattling that if NATO, which is moving in more forces and potentially nuclear launch sites into Eastern Europe, then Russia will go to war. I find it unlikely, but Putin is unpredictable, so that could happen. Meanwhile, on the financial front, you've got a crack appearing in the financial markets and a potential rollover. Now, I've been calling for a crash or market correction since November 2023, and that hasn't happened. It hasn't happened because the markets have been led by AI, artificial intelligence, and the semiconductor chip, with an additional element of the Fed promising interest rate cuts in 2024. Those interest rate cuts, irrespective of inflation, will happen in the US, UK, and in Europe in order to resuscitate their failing economies. So that is going to happen. So rates are going to fall in the US, Europe, and in the UK. Saying that, you can have rising unemployment, especially in the tech sector. There'll be more high-tech companies that will be laying off thousands of workers. So you could have rising unemployment. You could have stagnant inflation where we're unable to bring it down. Remember, I've been saying that inflation is going to continue rising. And that is going to cause a problem in the future. When rates come down, they're probably going to go back up. Going back to China and Russia... China has got no way out at the moment of its economic decline. So it, it looking now to expand across Asia, Africa and South America in order to take control economically of those countries. Putin and Russia are in trouble because they're spending hundreds of millions, billions on a useless and absolutely aimless war in Ukraine. And that's going to go nowhere. But with Biden being so inept and a poor leader has years of the strongest number one global power, the US, then Russia and China could take advantage of the fact that the senile ice cream licking president does not know what the heck is going on. This is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. You can share, you can comment, you can um, subscribe. Catch you later.